We all enjoy this hobby, being aquarists. It's more than a hobby to most of us. Sometimes looking in my tank, I see a fish scratching or breathing hard, or perhaps I just don't think he looks right. I immediately think something must be wrong. This is when I sit and really observe my fish. I'm not one to run for medicine for every little thing for myself, so I certainly don't do that for my fish either. I stop and watch and evaluate their behavior. First I look for outward signs of sickness, white spots, red marks, missing scales, damaged fins, or any visual evidence of external parasites. Seeing nothing that indicates distress, I don't believe my fish are suffering an infectious disease at all. Often our fish are reacting to a negative environmental condition or have been introduced to toxins. In our daily lives, we are constantly in contact with many substances that don't cause us adverse effects. But keeping in mind the limited environment our fish live in, this is not the case for them. It's critical for us to be mindful of this potential hazard to our fish in that a foreign substance that enters their domain will be either breathed in, swallowed, or possibly even penetrate their skin causing them discomfort, symptoms that indicate sickness, or even poisoning. By this I'm referring to putting your hands in your aquarium and not realizing they are contaminated with something that could harm your fish, but you have no reaction to. Simple things like soap residue, perfume, hand cream, many things that we touch that could potentially leave trace amounts on our hands that we're unaware of. Many of these symptoms are caused by disease. However, several are general symptoms that can have more than one cause. Flashing is one of them. Flashing can be caused by discomfort, exposure to toxins, or simply scratching an itch. This action can be compared to us clearing our throat or coughing. It doesn't mean that we're sick. We may have inhaled smoke and our lungs are irritated. Coughing is the natural response. This premise applies to fish as well. Having said this, it's important to treat any fish with clear evidence of disease immediately with the suitable medications. My point of this video is that we be more conscious of the possibility that our fish are not sick as much as uncomfortable. If this is the case, it's usually a pretty simple fix and there will be no need for medication.